My name is Mary Jo Musselman. I live in Toms River, New Jersey with my husband, Phil. And my son, Nathan, lives in Florida. And my stepson, Andrew, lives in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, about 18 years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia. And I started going to Johns Hopkins to treat through their oncology clinic there. Uh, since that time, I have um, assisted my husband with his business, which is a fitness business. Uh, I raised my son and partially raised my stepson. During the course of my, my leukemia treatment early on, there was an issue with my EKG. I passed the stress test and I just went to whoever the cardiologist was who read the stress test for follow-up. And when I went to visit him in his office, he said, well, you passed your stress test, but we have this issue with your T-wave. He wanted to do a cardiac catheterization and he most likely was gonna to have to put a stent in somewhere. And I wasn't very comfortable with that. And I started thinking to myself, I go to Johns Hopkins to see my oncologist. They're, they're pretty good at what they do in their different departments. Let me see what kind of cardiology department they have and if I can get in there. So I made the appointment um, in the Women's Cardiology Center and I went in and the doctor I saw was Dr. Oyan. And I, from the first time I met her, she made me feel comfortable. She explained everything. She's not an alarmist, uh, which I really liked. I first met Mary Jo in uh, 2010. The likelihood that she had significant blockages in the artery seemed relatively low. She did a lot of exercise without any difficulty um, and her blood cholesterol was good, her blood pressure was good. It seemed that there could be some other reason for the uh, abnormalities in the EKG and the stress test. So we did a, some different imaging uh, tests. We did what's called a CT angiogram. And that way we found that the arteries to the heart were normal, but the underlying problem was in the muscle. And she had a condition called hypertrophy or thickening of the heart muscle, but it was in the location of the heart, just at the tip of the heart, that doesn't generally cause much problems. What I think we were able to bring to her care was a focus on the fact that she was a woman, um, what were her risk factors, and what were the kinds of imaging that were possible to be done in the, uh, with the least amount of risk for her. Anytime anybody begins a, an exercise protocol, they, you always, they always say, have your doctor say that you're okay to start an exercise program. I have two who have both told me in the past two months, yes, you can go do that. But I know that I have to start very slowly because I'm not going to be out running five miles. I'm not going to be out training for a marathon. Knowing that Dr. Oyoung has a full understanding and has shared with me the situation with my heart. She's not panicking. She's not, you know, even when I saw her in, in January and and she said, well, I want to see you again, but I, I don't need to see you really in one year because we know where you are right now. Where we live here, my choices were to go to Sloan Kettering or to Johns Hopkins. And my husband and I talked about it. I'm like, I don't want to drive into New York. Then we thought about Baltimore because we both love the Inner Harbor area. And it's, it's only three hours. And, it, and it's a beautiful trip, and even now I'll do, the tr I'll do the drive down and back in a day because it's just, it's an easy drive. And as funny as it sounds, I'm worth it. I'm worth going to Johns Hopkins. I'm worth going to see those doctors. And my life is worth it. And I'm grateful every day that I get to, that I get to make that trip.